IET NCERT presents audiobook Introductory Microeconomics Page 22 Module 1.4 Movement and Shifts in Demand Curve Rationale Demand for a good is determined by many factors such as price of a commodity prices of other commodities consumers income and tastes and preferences change in any of the factors has impact on the quantity demanded which causes either the movement along the demand curve or shift in the demand curve key concepts demand law of demand shifts in demand movement along demand curve normal goods inferior goods substitute goods complementary goods 1.4.1 demand and law of demand the demand of a commodity is the quantity of that commodity which a consumer is willing and able to purchase given the price of that commodity for example if a consumer is willing to buy 5 units of apples and she has rupees 50 to buy them as the price of an apple is rupees 10 per unit then her demand is 5 units of apple law of demand states an inverse relationship between the price of a good and its quantity demanded other things being constant other things include the consumer's income his taste and preferences price of related goods etc we depict this relationship with the help of a demand curve page 23 figure 1.11 demand curve here we have a graph with two axes x axis represents quantity y axis represents price per unit in rupees the x axis has been divided into seven parts The y axis has also been divided into seven parts. There is a downward sloping demand curve. Point A on the demand curve represents at price 5 the consumer is consuming one quantity of the good. The point B represents that at price 4 the consumer is consuming two quantities of the product. At point C we understand that at price 3 the consumer is consuming four quantities of a product in this section we will study the changes in demand if any of these factors affecting demand is allowed to change this change is visible through the shifts and movements in the demand curve 1.4.2 movement along the demand curve consider a consumer who experiences a change in the price of a good while all other factors like income of the consumer price of other goods tastes and preferences of the consumer remain constant what will be the effect of changing price on the quantity demanded of that good by the consumer figure 1.12a downward movement along the demand curve here there are two axes x and y quantity is represented on the x axis and price is represented on the y axis both the x axis and y axis have two parts each there is a downward sloping demand curve ab after giving op0 price we purchase oq0 quantity of the product which is denoted by point a and similarly after giving op1 price we purchase oq1 of the quantity denoted by point b on the graph in this graph there is a downward movement shown by the arrow from a to b figure 1.12b upward movement along the demand curve in this graph we have two axes x axis and y axis 
x-axis denotes the quantity of the good and y-axis denotes the price of the good. At 0p1 price, we purchase 0q1 quantity of the product. At 0p0 price, we purchase 0q0 quantity of the product, denoted by point A on the graph. The upward pointing arrow shows the movement of the demand from point A to point B. Page 24 If only the price of the good has changed while all other factors remain constant, the quantity demanded of the good changes, keeping all other factors constant. The change in quantity demanded only because of a change in price of the good results in movement along the demand curve. Figure 1.12a represents a downward movement along the demand curve from point A to point B. This downward movement results from decrease in the price of the good from P0 to P1 and thereby leading to increase in the quantity demanded from Q0 to Q1. Figure 1.12b represents an upward movement along the demand curve from point A to point B. This upward movement results from increase in the price of the good from P0 to P1 and thereby leading to decrease in the quantity demanded from Q0 to Q1. 1.4.3 Shifts in the Demand Curve Change in the Income of the Consumer Let us consider a consumer who experiences a change in her income level with all other factors, that is, its prices, price of other goods, tastes and preferences remaining unchanged. How do we show the change in the demand curve of the consumer. To understand this change, it is necessary for us to first study the relation between the consumer's demand of a good and the income of the consumer. In other words, what happens to the demand of a good if the income level of the consumer rises or falls? Figure 1.13a Effect of rise in income on demand of normal good. Here, we have a graph with two axes. X-axis represents quantity of normal good. Y-axis represents price per unit in rupees. There is a demand curve D0 which is downward sloping. D0 demand curve shows that at price P, Q0 quantity is being demanded. With an increase in income, the demand curve shifts to a new demand curve represented by D1. This is shown by an arrow pointing in the right direction. Now, at price P, consumer demands Q1 quantity of the good. Figure 1.13b Effect of rise in income on demand of inferior good. Here we have a graph with two axes, X and Y. X axis represents quantity of inferior good. Y axis represents price per unit in rupees. There is a demand curve D0, which represents that at price P, Q0 quantity is being demanded by the consumer. With the rise in income, we find that the demand curve shifts to D1. This is represented with the help of an arrow which is pointing in the left direction. Now, at price P, the consumer is demanding Q1 quantity of the good. Since the good could be either a normal or an inferior good, an increase in income would have different impacts on the demand of the good. For instance, in case of normal good, an increase in income will lead to an increase in demand of that good. The figure 1.13a depicts the increase in demand of the normal good with a rightward shift of the demand curve from D0 
to D1. There is a rightward shift because, at the same prices, an increase in income has allowed the consumer to purchase more quantity of the good. Page 25 In case of an inferior good, an increase in income of the consumer with no changes in any prices means a decrease in the quantity demanded of the good. Therefore, the consumer is now willing to buy lesser of the inferior good. Figure 1.13b depicts the leftward shift from the original demand curve D0 to the new demand curve D1, which is brought about when income increases in case of an inferior good. An increase in the income of the consumer will allow her to buy more quantity of refined oil, which is a normal good, and lesser quantity of dalda, which becomes an inferior good for her. Change in price of the related goods Let us consider a consumer who experiences a change in the price of the other good with all other factors, that is, income of the consumer, price of the good, and tastes and preferences remaining unchanged. What is the change in the demand curve of this consumer? To understand the change in demand, we need to question the nature of relation between the two goods whether the two goods are substitutes of each other or are consumed as complements. Examples of substitute goods are tea and coffee, sandwich and burger, and of complementary goods are tea and sugar, socks and shoes, tractor and diesel, etc. Suppose two substitute goods are given as tea and coffee. Then it means that the consumer either chooses tea or coffee. If the price of tea increases and the income, taste and price of coffee remains the same, how would the quantity of coffee demanded change? We know an increase in price of tea will lead to a decrease in the quantity demanded of tea and coffee can be substituted for tea. Therefore, an increase in price of tea leads to an increase in demand for coffee. Similarly, if the price of tea decreases, consumer will consume more tea instead of coffee, implying a fall in demand for coffee. Thus, in case of substitute goods, the quantity demanded of a good will move in the same direction as the price of its substitute. Figure 1.14a Effect of increase in price of substitute good Here, we have a graph with two axes, x and y. x-axis represents quantity of good 1, which is a substitute good. y-axis represents price per unit in rupees of good 2. There is a demand curve D0. This demand curve represents that at price P, Q0 quantity of good 1 is being demanded by the consumer. This demand curve shifts to a new demand curve, D1. This is represented with the help of an arrow which is pointing in the right direction. Now, at price P, the consumer is demanding Q1 quantity of good 1 or substitute good. Figure 1.14b Effect of increase in price of complementary good. Here we have a demand curve with two axes. X axis represents quantity of good 1 or complementary goods. Y axis represents price per unit in rupees of good 2. There is a demand curve D0 which represents that at price P the consumer is demanding Q0 quantity of good 1. This demand curve shifts to a new demand curve, D1. With this new demand curve, we understand that now at price P, the consumer is demanding Q1 quantity of good 1 or complementary good. Page 26 Therefore, an increase in the price of a substitute good 2, given that the income, tastes and price of the good 1 remains the same, would 
increase the quantity demanded of good 1. Figure 1.14a represents the increase in quantity demanded of good 1 by a rightward shift of the demand curve from D0 to D1. Now, suppose there are two complementary goods, tea and sugar, and the consumer always chooses to use them together. If there is an increase in price of sugar, the quantity of sugar and consequently the quantity of tea demanded will decrease. Therefore, an increase in price of a complementary good 2 would result in a fall in the demand of good 1, keeping the income, tastes and price of good 1 as unchanged. Figure 1.14b represents the decrease in quantity demanded of good 1 by a parallel leftward shift from the original demand curve D0 to the new demand curve D1. Change in the tastes and preferences of the good. Suppose all factors affecting demand such as income of the consumer, price of the two goods remain unchanged while the tastes of the consumer change. How does this change affect the demand of a good? If the change in tastes and preferences of a consumer are favorable for the good, then the consumer would increase her demand for the good, causing a rightward shift in the demand of the consumer. Conversely, if the tastes and preferences of a consumer change unfavorably, then the consumer would decrease her demand for the good, thereby causing a leftward shift in the demand curve. Test your understanding. For each of the events listed below, what effect will they have on the demand in the consumer market? Explain with the help of diagrams. A. Workers in an industry get a large raise in their salary or wages. B. More and more people are booking hotel rooms in Shimla to get relief from scorching summers of Delhi and the price charged for a hotel room remains unchanged. C. People have started demanding more milk because the milkman has lowered the prices. D. Scientists discovered that consumption of coke increases the risk of heart attack, so people reduced consumption of coke. E. Effect on the demand of cars when the price of petrol rises. F. The impact on the demand of coloured television when there is an increase in the income of a consumer. G. The effect on the demand of public buses with a decrease in the metro fares by half. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana Sound recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India <laughs> <laughs>